Okay, so in this tutorial, I'll just show you quickly how I did the um, pile of paper effect um, that you just mentioned in the email. So this is Photoshop, and obviously you can create a new document, pixels, width, and height. Um, to uh, 1200 by 1200 is really good for Facebook stuff, as it takes up the full space allowed in in a newsfeed post. But that's a different story. So you would create your document however big you want it and you'll notice here that you get the background now right at the bottom what you can do is actually add new layers and if you think of a layer as like a piece of paper the background is the bottom piece then layer one would be on top of that layer two would be on top of that and if we add something to these layers for example I'll put sort of a rectangly square on this layer and on this layer I'll put a circle and I'll make that red so see so what we've got here is in effect three pieces of paper the bottom piece of paper is the white background which won't move unless you right click it and say layer from background so we've got three layers so the bottom layer we could drag it and it will become the top piece of paper you could move it down and it would be the piece of paper in the middle or you could move it to the bottom back where it was same applies to the other layers so that piece could go above that piece that piece could go above that piece and what you're creating is this obviously layered effect to enable you to do all sorts of weird and wonderful things on, on Photoshop. So, if we were to borrow a Lancashire Evening Post image, just right click copy from Google, the one that you want, go back and we can paste that into Photoshop and, and make it the size that we want. And press the tick. Obviously, this isn't the best image and it's I know it's not the one that you use and it's probably from a few years ago judging by some of the stuff on there but what you can basically do just let me delete the examples is, is once you've got the layer in position you can actually right click and um, duplicate the layer so you end up with numerous in this case three and then the top layer, nudge it round a bit, and the bottom layer, nudge it round a bit more, and you sort of get the effect of a pile of newspapers, and that's basically how I did it, just using three layers and adjusting the sort of rotation of each one, and if you want to get rid of the white background so it's completely transparent for your... Um, layer slider just click on the background layer and press delete if it won't go there's a little bin you can press that at the bottom once you've got your sort of final image you can right click individual layers and add some blending so you could have shadow for example maybe on the on the bottom layer you know you, you can experiment with this stuff and come up with that whatever you you want but the blending layers are really useful they sort of give you that extra bit of border or something just like shadow just to give you an added effect on the website so something like that and then file save for web and to preserve the transparent background you want to make sure that it's a PNG image and as you'll see when the preview loads that it, it gets rid of all the background and you can if you want you can change the size so we can say well 600 instead and the image will resize for you at the point of pressing save and then you, you just save it in the normal way wherever you want it to be and find it when you put it on your website and layer slider hope that's helped i'll see you on the next video